Let's take a look at Boracare. This material is another nicest product with tremendous versatility. As with everything else, I'd like you to download the label because there's so much information here and the document will give you all the future information you need to use it properly in the field. Now, this material is designed to be used as a barrier treatment. It also kills the insects on contact and helps prevent future reinfestations. You can use it in a pre-treat mode. You can use it to kill off active infestations that you're dealing with. You can also protect the repairs that you've done to buildings by treating the wood that's going in because once it's applied to the surface, the insects are not gonna be able to build shelter tubes over the top of it. If you're dealing with wood destroying beetles, beetles that emerge from the treated wood are going to run into that product next season and it's going to kill them. It also is extremely good for carpenter ant infestations. And if you've got situations where you're worried about wood decay fungus, the material will control that as well. If you're doing a fumigation, this adds a residual component to your fumigation process. You tent the building, you kill off all the dry wood termites, but you want some sort of long-term residual action, this is the product to use to give you that. So you're looking at a huge amount of versatility with the wood destroying insects and the wood decay fungus all wrapped up in one package called Boracare. Today we're going to do a termite pre-construction treatment on this house with Boracare. And those type of treatments are an excellent way to add to your business base with not only new termite customers, increased termite renewals, and new pest control customers. Always remember to wear the proper PPE for the job. In the case of Boracare, that would be a long sleeve shirt, pants, safety goggles, and if you're spraying in a confined space, a respirator. We're on the job site today with Boracare to do a termite pretreat on this home. The first thing we have to do is mix the product. So what we're going to do is take our gallon of water and put about three quarters of that gallon into our mixing bucket. We're going to save a portion of that so we can triple rinse our container of Boracare. The next thing we're going to do is take our drill with the mixing head on it, get that started in the water, and we're going to add the Boracare, and we're going to mix this product until we have no resistance, and the material feels just like water itself. And of course we want to remember to triple rinse our container, And here's a myth I want to dispel. I've heard people say you have to have warm water to mix Boracare. That's absolutely false. I've got tap water and a drill impeller, and this product is going to mix just fine. So once again, in a three or four minute period of time, we've got product out of the container, mixed up, and ready to use on a job site. Now, we have two machines here from Nysus. First of all, this is the 2000 power cart. On the back of this unit, you're going to see the small compressor and, of course, the two-gallon tank. You can take this to a job site and do a termite pretreat with it. You can take it inside of a customer's business or their residence and do crack and crevice work with it for crawling insects. You can use it for small fly control. It takes up extremely small amounts of space inside of your vehicle. It's got a tiny footprint. So it can go on any job site 
in any service vehicle we have in this industry and give you versatility beyond any other piece of equipment out there. You can spray with it, you can foam with it, you can mist with it, and you're doing it in a tiny package that fits anywhere. If you're going out and doing a whole house job, you'll want the 4000 series unit. And this unit enables you to get through the entire job site without having to constantly remix material. Another piece of equipment you can use is a backpack sprayer, which works great for this type of application. Now that we have our product mixed up, we need to get it inside of our TrueTech sprayer. And this is really a very unique unit because not only does it allow you to spray material, you can also foam it or mist it depending upon your need on the job site. And on top, we have the air compressor, and that would be the only moving part in this entire unit. So there's nothing to break down, nothing to cost you time, and you have tremendous efficiency when you're in the field. And you make the decision as a professional as to whether you want to put out liquid, foam, or mist with the same piece of equipment. Before you do any application of Boracare, you've got to remove the dust and debris from the sill plates and from the areas you're going to make the application. All these things need to be picked out of the way and removed. That way your product is going on over a dust-free, dirt-free surface because we want it soaking into the wood members of the structure, not into the dirt and debris where it can be dislodged and improperly placed. First, we recommend you use an 8002 fan spray tip for your bore care treatments. We are now ready to go. Everything has been swept broom clean, so there's no debris on the floor. We've gotten the sill plate areas cleaned off. I have a charged up 4,000 unit filled with Boracare. We are now ready to get started with this pre-treat. Now, what we're going to be doing is treating from two to eight inches out with the Boracare onto the concrete itself. And we want to come up a couple of feet on the walls and on the studding. And conveniently enough, here we have a mark for that. It's an installation mark. Now, if the house has been Tyvek on the exterior, you're going to coat these areas twice. And in application, when we apply the material to the wood, it'll actually seep and run back on the back sides as well as underneath the sill plate, provided you've made the application correctly. And in these zones, the way we want to treat this is we've got the unit on fan spray. So what we'll do is just come and fan this zone and we'll move down the wall itself, fanning the material onto the wood, taking care to cover both sides. Get behind that electrical box and keep moving, going down the wall area, getting into those little pockets. If you've got a crack or crevice with a couple of beams put together, go ahead and hit that. Take care here, your two foot lines here, make sure you're treating up to that height on the other side of the stud. You come on this area here, if you've got studs that are married together, go ahead and treat through. There's a wire cut through here. We can use that hole to get better penetration, get underneath the sill. Now, if you happen to get overspray on some of these areas, have a rag handy and just go ahead and wipe that overspray off, and then you're not going to have that concern once the material dries. In a few markets around the country, you're going to have to use dye, and so it's extremely important you don't get any overspray at all. But once again, we have studs put together here, got a crack here, get some material in there, and then we can continue on getting all the zones treated this house already has the Tyvex on the outside. What we're going to need to do is go through in one direction, and then, after we've completed the balance of the house, come back through in the other direction, about 20 minutes between those treatments. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We apply the material in one direction, taking care to go up a couple of feet, 
And at the end of that time period, we're going to come back and coat it once again, and the wood is protected. On the first pass through, I treated the other side of the wall. Now, I'm treating the opposite side. And in this fashion, when we're done with this pass, we have treated both sides of the wall and protected the structure. You just saw me treat a stairwell from one side. However, if it's a freestanding wall, we can make one pass in one direction, go on the other side of the wall, and come back and get the other side. What we have here is a plumbing penetration on an island, and we have to get this entire area treated down inside to successfully keep termites from coming through. So what we're going to do is treat down into this penetration, behind the pipe, and make sure that all of these cracks and crevices and spaces and penetrations down into the wood are adequately taken care of so the material can get down in there and the wood is protected. When you read the Boracare label, you will note cracks and expansion joints have to be treated as well. This crack has been broom cleaned and what we're going to do is apply the material 8 to 12 inches out on either side of the crack in the concrete. And we're going to cover its entire length. And in that fashion, any insects that try to come up through this zone are going to encounter the product and we have control. All right, we have gotten this area completely wiped as far as sweeping, and we're going to go ahead and apply our product. Make sure you get behind those electrical boxes. And we have done that side, and we'll go outside and get the other side on the other pass. Now we're going to get the other side of the wall, and we just go ahead and treat our way through two feet up. What we have here is a plumbing penetration, and we have to get this entire area treated down inside to successfully keep termites from coming through. So what we're going to do is treat down into this penetration behind the pipe and make sure that all of these cracks and crevices and spaces and penetrations down into the wood are adequately taken care of so the material can get down in there and the wood is protected. Be sure to squirt some product into the sleeves around the peck penetrations. When you come to a penetration in the slab for a bath trap, treat one foot out all the way around that area. When you run into expansion joints or abutting slabs, treat six inches out on both sides. One of the things I really like about this 4,000 unit I can hook the extra long hose up to it. I can park the unit right here at the top of the basement stairs. All the work that I need to do on the main floor, don't have to move it. All the work I have to do in the basement, the unit stays here, and I'm heading downstairs to get to work. We're doing a basement pre-treat with Boracare, and what we have to do is spray two feet up on all the wood members and pay special attention to that sill plate to make sure that you get that entire zone taken care of. When you come to a wood member like this that's up against the wall or even within three inches, you want to go top to bottom on all sides. And then when you come to that wood member, pay attention to the crack or crevice behind it and get some material back into that zone between the wood and the wall itself. When you've got 
a foundation wall crack and crevice along the edge like this where the floor meets the wall, you're going to come along and do a band up a couple of feet. When you come to a plumbing penetration, you're going to go out and around that plumbing penetration a good six inches. We're continuing our pre-treat of the basement with Boracare. And we need to get two foot up and two foot out on these beam areas in the basement. And this is one thing I really love about this gun. All you have to do is extend it out. Now I can safely treat these areas and because this is a wide open space, I don't have to worry about wearing a mask or anything, just my goggles. And I want to coat all areas of the wood, the subfloor, the sill. In other words, treat this whole boxed in space effectively with a coating of the material. In a crawl space, you will need to treat two foot out from the foundation wall onto the sill plate, box header, floor joists, and subfloor. Then we're going to treat the base of the foundation wall to deter termites from creating exploratory shelter tubes. We're also going to treat two foot out from the piers in the same manner. As you saw a short time ago, we were downstairs in the crawl area and in the basement, and we treated up in those zones. Now we're on the floor above and we're going to treat an additional foot to protect the wood members in this area. Once you're finished, rinse the equipment out completely. The mineral salts in the Boracare can crystallize and clog up your sprayer if left overnight. As an important part of the job, document records such as product, registration number, amount, etc as required by your state or province. Now you're familiar with doing Boracare new construction treatments. For complete details, download this new construction technical bulletin and the label. If you have any questions, just call 800 Boracare. That's 800-267-2227, and we'll get you the answers that you need.